I'm Aaliyah, and this is Jamie. We have been dating for a year and a month, and I just moved to Simsbury, Connecticut a month ago. A month ago? <laughs> Two months ago? Three months ago. So I wrapped up my whole studio apartment in New York, had it moved up here, and coming from my 300 square foot apartment in New York, it's interesting to see also like the shift in lifestyle being here. Jamie has two teenage sons who are the coolest kids in the world, Jack and James. They're 14 and 17. Yeah. Leah's in charge now, yep. so Aaliyah does all the work around the house now, so that's good and bad. <laughs> Depends on what your style is. So. I'm moving into their territory, their house, and for me to come in and change it could be, you know, really disruptive. So when they're really open to the ideas and they're excited about them, it makes me feel like really welcome into their group. The living room is not my favorite room in the house. Well, it's... Our Just clarify. Yes. Our living room is the land of misfit furniture. It's where we put all furniture that we either don't like anymore, never liked, or just don't have a place to put it, we shove it all in that room in oddly looking configurations. The boys actually use it all the time. They bring in their little putting mats and practice putting in there. The bigger surprise is the fact that I'm actually doing a putting green room. He's been talking about this putting green room for probably since I met him. I really want to do this as something really special for all of them. It will be really a great place for the whole family to hang out. As you can see, this is the living room. Actually, we've just broken ground. It's a little bit of a construction site right now. Here's what I'm imagining. More of a comfortable living room space that has a little bit of a formal air to it. As long as we can make it usable. I just don't want to have another room that kind of looks fancy and nobody uses. Sometimes the things that we clash on are much more traditional. I mean, I definitely bring more of that. Modern, very modern. My dad's style is a little bit more old school and Aaliyah's is more Soho locked vibe. Okay, you're gonna have to go with me on this. High gloss oh black. Oh my God. All of the moldings, high gloss black. And then the fireplace. We would spray this whole wall high gloss black. That's crazy. Black fixture, black chandelier with brass. I know we painted the ceiling black in, in the dining room, but it's matte black. I know, and everybody that walks in looks at our dining room ceiling is like, um, uh, that's interesting. When you see it all together with furniture and other elements in the room, we'll have pops of color. It's not gonna feel as heavy as you're imagining it. So are you on board with the Look. sofas, the mirror, chandelier, high gloss black, and I'll stain the floors darker. I'm gonna bring in some help, shockingly. <laughs> I, no, look, I, I, I totally trust your vision. I, do, I really do. I'm a little nervous about Aaliyah taking the reins of the entire design of the room. You're um, gonna be involved in it. But I'm gonna be away. So Jamie's gone for the next two days, and he thinks he's coming back to a modern living room. But turning the living room into a cool putting green is going to be my surprise. I'm going to wallpaper the room, put in turf over the hardwood floors, and I have a cool idea on how to make an entire wall into custom built-ins using cabinets. I'm gonna show you some clever design hacks that you can do at home. They're easy, affordable, and they're gonna take this room to the next level. So I know I told Jamie I'm gonna do high gloss black paint, but this room is about the boys, so I'm gonna surprise him with a custom blue paint color. We started priming the room already, mm -hmm. and he sort of fell in love with this steely blue-gray color, and I know he really wants to go in this direction. Doing the room in hues of blue, this is like a more sophisticated way of saying, hey, I see you, here's your man cave. So when people think of wallpaper, they think bold patterns, but I'm actually doing the opposite. I'm using textured wallpaper that matches my blue paint color. It's an insider tip to make your house feel more cozy and polished. Next to the fireplace on both sides, there's two recessed spots, which are great places to really highlight a piece that you love, a great piece of art. So my philosophy is always, if you can't find it in the market, you can create it. And I'm gonna leverage wallpaper to be my art. And you can find so many wallpapers that have really interesting designs. So I'm gonna mount a larger piece of wallpaper on the canvas. I'm actually gonna paint just the edges of the canvas, and all you see is 
this really cool pattern sort of popping out at you. I don't want to see any white. I want the, the edges to really blend into the same color as the wall. So now, just like you're wallpapering a wall, you're gonna use wallpaper paste and affix it onto the canvas, which works because wallpaper affixes to a wall that has a little bit of a texture to it and the canvas is already pre-textured. So you don't want a canvas that's too smooth. So you just wanna do a very, very thin layer because the canvas has a little bit of a texture. Sometimes there's those hard to get spots, but I see you. Get a little air cover. Roll it on flat. Get all the air bubbles out. Make sure it's really, really nice and flat. Oh, it's gonna look so great in this space. Can't wait. I can literally hear Jamie in the back of my head asking me, how the heck are we gonna resell this house? I mean, I do have to drill holes in the floor, but come on, a putting green in the house is every golfer's dream. Uh, we'll come out to here. Yeah. So apparently every putting green has two types of turf. A longer, darker green turf called the fringe around the edge, which golfers use for chipping, and a shorter, lighter green turf in the middle used for putting. I thought this putting green would make our living room look like a man cave, but I actually think the shape makes it look like a cool piece of art. I guess I didn't fully process that we were actually gonna have to cut holes in the hardwood floor to make this happen. The Ethan Allen guys just arrived. I'd planned on having all my deliveries done by yesterday. Jamie actually gets home tonight. I was planning on spending today just rearranging furniture, but best laid plans never happen. I think it's still gonna be great. So the goal is to fit as many cabinets as you can against the wall. Pick a cabinet you love and measure its dimensions to see how many can fit in this space. In order to make these cabinets look like built-ins, we need panels that go all the way around from floor to ceiling. The trick here is to make sure the wood is painted the same color as the cabinets. Then finish by filling in the gap across the top with a crown molding. This really makes multiple cabinets feel like one impactful piece. Color is always one of the most impactful things that you can use in design. I styled the cabinets in a color gradient from blues all the way to greens. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut a piece of cloth the size of the book spine. It leaves you just a block of fabric. Spray mount is your best friend in this project. Do just a light dusting on the top and just lightly tap it down. Now we're gonna glue the sides. Again, slightly spray and just get in that groove if you can because it's what's going to make it look real. So then we're going to open the book and you're just going to snip at the spines where we're going to wrap the book in. We're going to use Gorilla Glue to glue the inside so it really holds. A little bit on the top here and really give it a good push down so that it stays. Once you have multiples of these, they're really cool stacked up this way on a shelf, centered in the middle of the shelf. I mean, look how cool this looks. I had imagined this color wall and it's all coming to life, but this is over 500 books and I'm just, I'm working as fast as I can because I really want it to be perfect. It's, it's really cool when the ideas that have been happening in your head for so long, you start to see a little progress, but I still have a lot of work to do, so wish me luck. So as we say goodbye to this collection of misfit furniture, we're reviving the space with a mix of modern and vintage pieces. Two French style antique mirrors leaning up against the wall. Another French style gold mirror over the fireplace. New lighting fixtures have a really modern vibe. A cool velvet ottoman. Two ivory swivel chairs. And a few personal touches that I think Jamie's really gonna love. So TV one and TV two. That's a guy sized TV right there. The putting green's down, the furniture's in, the lights are on, and the TVs are mounted. I'm just finishing final touches. I want everything to be perfect for the boys.
I am so excited for them to see this room. Yo, 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 Surprise! Yo, 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 hey, babe. Yo, yo, yo. Oh my god. Surprise. Are you kidding me? What? It's a party James, screen. Check this out. What babe, oh my god, what did you do? What? You do Welcome to your traditional living room. What did you do? Did you see the paint color? I can't believe this. Oh, you left my paint color. No, I actually had a custom paint color made, and I got to name it. No, you didn't. I did. What did you name I it? it Primetime Jamie. I like that. <laughs> Primetime Jamie. There you go. You did your old bag, too. Oh, my God. Babe. Found it in the basement, and it fits into my color story, but I wanted Seton Hall to have representation here, and instead of hanging a jersey, I thought it would be cooler to do some of your old stuff and then a lot of, and take inspiration from the colors in all the books. I mean, this is perfect, thank you. I think this is the so nicest thing, like anything, it. anything anyone's ever done for me. I'm so happy you like it. I'm so happy you guys like it too. This is two so hits. Cool. All right, two hits. All right. Two hits. All right, there you go. Good job, Alia. Good job, Alia. Oh my god, babe, you got two. I'm sure I'm going to regret that later. <laughs> Double the I'm sports. Sure, I'm sure I'm going to regret that when the draft comes on. Oh, of course. Oh. Oh.